you were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. What's her problem? Well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. 
Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. <gasps> That's my backpack. You were in the woods with Krista, the woman I was with. 
What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you. 